Hello, welcome in everybody. My name is Laura from Tenacious Taurus Twin Flame Tarot and this is going to be a general collective message for whoever needs to hear it. So keep in mind this message is not sign specific. I'm not really digging into the astrology. This is just a general message. So take what resonates, leave behind the rest and let's get into it. I am using the tea leaf oracle deck to start today so if you haven't already done so please feel free to subscribe to the channel feel free to like the video comment on the video and share the video especially if you are resonating with the message it encourages me to keep creating content and it lets me know that uh, you like what i put out there so let's see what needs to come through for a message today for whoever a general message for whoever hot I think somebody here is about to be playing a very different role. So this could mean maybe your role within a family structure is changing. This could mean a uh, job promotion. Maybe you're getting a new job. We had a little bit of a fallout here, <laughs> but two cards did fall out upright. So we get the unicorn and the dog's energy. And so uh, there might be a getting together with friends. Maybe this is a role that you're gonna be playing within a group of friends. I've also noticed that it looks like there's a, a horizon here of water and the sun kind of setting down on a situation. So there might be a shakeup when it comes to a close group of friends. And so this is where maybe you're gonna be playing a different role. And the unicorn is all about using your intuition. So somebody here I feel is encouraged to make some beneficial changes and maybe this is surrounding a group of friends. Bottom of the deck, we get a haystack. So this is the energy of karma. You will reap what you have sown, good or bad. So have you been putting good out there? Have you been uh, putting bad out there? Somebody here is definitely highly thought of. Uh, maybe somebody is highly thinking of you. Maybe somebody that turned their back on you. I just noticed like you see the back of her. Uh, maybe you've turned your back on somebody that uh, maybe chose a group of friends over you. But I feel karma here. I think there's somebody here that is highly thought of that is about to receive a gift. And it's kind of a box. And I did talk about Pandora's box. I believe it was, it was in... Uh, the twin flame message that I posted a couple of nights ago. You might want to go check it out. But somebody here has been like in the forest, not being able to see through the muddled forest. Maybe there's a thought pattern here that's been confusing. But intuition is going to be needed if you are to make changes for the better. And so maybe this has been a process since about last month. Maybe a rebirth process started back in March. I do feel recognition and reward for merit. And then we get the marriage card. And so there are forces I feel working against some type of connection here, maybe a group of friends, but I think it's time to cut something out. And maybe there's an older woman here that's lacking something in her life, whether it's money, goals, or prosperity that is about to receive something because she is highly thought of. So be mindful. Somebody here might have some negative forces working against them. Three, three, three on the timer. And so there is like this underlying Empress energy, seven of wands energy playing out. So there's a need to, to protect yourself. Look at that beauty on the bottom of the deck and return. And so there might be a second chance. Somebody here might want to return to somebody from the past. Maybe after a get together with friends, recognizing uh, a need to make changes. I do feel a rebirth energy and I feel something here maybe has wilted with an opportunity to come back to life. That's interesting. All my tulips and flowers and the flower beds are a little bit wilted. I actually saw snow flurries um, outside earlier this morning and very odd for the time of year. But I do feel somebody wants to come in and make amends. Somebody here is highly thinking of maybe you. Reverse, reverse roles uh, if need be. But somebody here I think is looking at a beautiful person that is charming, graceful, and kind-hearted. So let's see what else needs to come through here. Uh, maybe somebody is feeling like they're lacking. Maybe they're watching you flourish and wishing uh, to bring in some type of gift. Uh, there is definitely karma here going, going on. So there's always two sides of karma, right? So let's see what else needs to come through. Karma fantasy i do feel somebody is is coming out of a period of disillusionment 
I think somebody's been fantasizing about uh, this person that is highly thought of, daydreaming, imagining, and fantasizing maybe about a future with them. I got a sneeze. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> three. <laughs> three. Uh, so maybe from three years ago. Uh, usually a sneeze comes to a clear throat chakra block. So somebody here might have blocked some some type of uh, communication. Yeah, there is a lack of communication. We got resistance out and we got emotional storm. So somebody here is definitely in a state of inner turmoil. I think a, th a lot of things in their lives are being affected, uh, maybe from suppressing some emotions. There's a lot of resistance to a connection here. Maybe they think that this is an illusion or a fantasy and somebody has been suppressing. Somebody here is secretly admiring this person that is highly thought of, and maybe it is an older woman. So an older woman for me, uh, maybe with gray hair, doesn't have to have gray hair, but I feel like an older woman uh, for me has learned a lot of life lessons, probably at least in their 40s, right? An older woman uh, usually is empress status. Uh, there could be a mother here, though, too, that is working against a connection. There could be a mother that is working against a connection here, and maybe a get-together with friends is is the key here uh dogs usually are loyal but then I, you know uh, you know a group of friends usually flocks together in the same vi vibration and you know you get a bunch of guys together and sometimes they can be dirty dogs right uh dog and women out and stuff so that's another message and so uh, take only what resonates guys okay but i do feel somebody here is really feeling like they're lacking in life maybe it's love money or goals and i think they're looking at somebody that is maybe living a really good life maybe is already receiving a lot of recognition, public recognition is what I heard. And somebody is, is in a deep uh, emotional storm. Oh yeah, they are feeling helpless. They are feeling hopeless. Maybe they're sinking further into despair. This is like an internal tower. Somebody here has fallen apart. Maybe their life has fallen apart and they are withdrawn. And so I think we got two single people here is what it kind of feels like. Two single people one living a really good life and the other person fantasizing, imagining, and daydreaming about uh, this person. But somebody here is very lonely. And there is a past life connection here where maybe it feels a little bit cursed. <laughs> so there's, there is some karma playing out here. I think somebody here is spiraling in a negative mindset. And so that will create more negativity in our lives. And I do feel there's a repeated pattern here that needs to be addressed connected to a karmic lesson from a past life. And so let's go a, a little bit further. I think somebody's really masking and hiding how much they are grieving over maybe a loss of a connection. And I think they're looking at this person that they think highly of, maybe feeling like I'm not worthy of them. They're better off without me. They look happy. I don't want to disturb their peace. And somebody here is really in, in a space of muddled thinking, unclear thinking, and they need to clear their headspace there is some type of separation here or blockage or distance between uh two people and i do feel somebody is withdrawn hiding their emotions suppressing their emotions holding on obsessing and obsessed with spying clinging and they're very conflicted about maybe coming forward with an offer because uh, i think maybe in the past this connection uh, left you broken hearted shattered and destroyed and I think uh, there's going to be some unexpected turmoil coming in here. So let's go in uh, with the Spiritual Journey Oracle deck before we jump in with the cards, with the tarot. But I feel somebody's receiving a lot of abundance too. There's some type of a uh, spiritual marriage, spiritual union going on here. A psychic connection coming through here. Giving and receiving. Psychic abilities. Accountability. Shining your light. Sp spiritual coursework is what came through so i do feel there is uh somebody here that might be a psychic healer uh that could be uh very uh intuitively gifted that has the sacred gift of seeing or clairaudiency or clairsentiency we've got a psychic healer here that has really developed her psychic abilities and i do feel is about to receive something is about to receive a lot of reward, a lot of compensation for uh, the work that she's put out there. Because uh, we've got somebody here that is shining her light bright, his or her light, doesn't matter. Looks like somebody uh, is a female on the card, doesn't have to be. And I do feel somebody has really shared maybe their knowledge of their spiritual and evolution journey. And they're shining the healing light, assisting others on their awakening. 
and I do feel somebody feels like maybe they're hexed uh, because they are maybe being forced to come forward and take accountability. I do feel a mirror soul connection and uh, there's somebody here very much struggling uh, with taking total ownership of maybe a past decision. So there is a pivot point. There is a paradigm shift going on here. And so there's somebody here really struggling with letting go of an old mindset, an old uh, belief system, and they are definitely at a stuck fork in the road. And a decision is going to have to be made. And so uh, not choosing is actually a choice. And that's usually when all of the towers kind of crumble. But this is a reignition of some type of passionate connection. And I do feel there's some type of creative work that maybe the two of you are meant to do together. So I do feel somebody's learning to find uh, their voice. And maybe they do need to break free from a group of friends here or a social group here in order to be able to openly and honestly express themselves. But let's jump in with some tarot. Let's see what else needs to come through today. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. <laughs> We're going to go with this deck today. Page of Cups, Two of Swords. So blocked emotions, blocked emotions. And so somebody here has been blocking their emotions. Either they're unwilling to look at what's on their heart. I think somebody here uh, looks at somebody else and sees them very much happy. And so they keep pretending everything's fine. Everything's fine. I didn't make a mistake. Everything's fine. <laughs> um, and they're overanalyzing. Should I come forward? Should I bring an apology forward? If I bring an apology forward, what do I say? I think somebody here might be very sensitive to a no answer. And let's face it, the answer is always going to be no if you never ask, right? So I do feel there is an unexpected message coming regarding a new emotional connection or experience but I do think somebody from the past so you might not have met this person this life odds are I'm feeling like you have and there's a karmic lesson that needs to be learned but uh psychic abilities are very much heightened at this time and we just had that Jupiter uh conjunct Uranus transit and that's bringing in an unexpected substantial impact of some type however that would be affecting you on your own journey so maybe it's love maybe it's money maybe it's goals but I think we're going to do nine cards today. We're going to see what else needs to come through. But somebody here is very unstable is what it feels like. Needing to make beneficial changes in their life. Maybe they're looking at this person that is highly thought of as like a unicorn. As like a mythical, magical being. And I think they're just eluding having to deal with this. So we get a realignment right out the gate. We get the two of coins in reverse. We get the Hermit in reverse, so we do get Virgo energy, and we get a Queen of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Somebody is really at a pivot point for sure, and so this decision is not going to be an easy one, I think, because somebody, I think, has spent a lot of time meditating, reflecting, maybe juggling. I feel time's up, time's up. Maybe the last two years has been a process of walking a tightrope, walking a fine line, trying to repress all of these emotions and they're boiling to the surface. I think somebody maybe used work as a mask to uh, pretend and delude. Uh, but I do feel somebody's been juggling maybe two people, a lot of priorities, and there's a rebalancing going on here. And I think somebody has to go face a queen of swords. So there could be somebody very much in the public eye here that speaks the truth, embodies the truth, is exposing uh, the snakes in the grass, who has a lot of divine protection. Look at all of the blue butterflies. So we've got a feminine here that maybe has transformed how she communicates. There could be uh, somebody from the past needing to come back when it's uh, connected to like a divorce. We definitely have a very single individual here, whether she's divorced or has never been married, that's really focused on career and she's exposing something here. Maybe uh, about somebody that didn't invest in the situation. There's materialism here. There's greed here. And there is a need to stop suppressing these emotions. And so somebody, I think, really used uh, material things to uh, mask over a pain on the heart is what it feels like. And there is a need to do this deep dive into this heart healing. So some truth is being exposed. Uh, we could have a Taurus Virgo Capricorn here. Um, maybe a Taurus South Node is what I just heard. That really used... Uh, Money as an accomplishment to mask over uh, a heart pain here. So there is a great sadness here that needs to be addressed. Maybe from four years ago. I'm seeing about four years ago. Maybe this divorce uh, happened four years ago or a separation from four years ago. 
I feel four years. I think the last three years might have been a process of uh, somebody here uh, in a state of inner turmoil, suppressing, admiring another that maybe had the strength to move on and find her passion to speak about releasing a certain situation or a certain person that no longer served her. And, and I feel there is a feminine here that really has found the bright side of the lesson or the humor in the lesson, like the sun's kind of shining. She's rebirth. She's flourishing. If you look at all of the growth and the green around her, and so she may be harsh with her truth, but her truth is coming from a place of love, right? And so she speaks words of truth from a loving place, uh, but she's not going to feed fantasies or illusions, right? And I do feel there is somebody here that really needs to lay down a long-standing burden. There might even be an unexpected job loss. If somebody overworked and used that as a mask to not have to do this deep dive into this healing. Because really, personal growth only comes from going into the depths of facing all of these past wounds, right? And so we get the Ten of Swords reversed. There is like a releasing of some type of trauma bond here or unhealthy habit or addiction. There is a release. Look at that. Oh my God. And then we get the death card. So we're breaking free from something toxic. We get the ten of wands reversed. We get the devil reversed. We get the death card. And so this is the ending of an idea, a relationship. Uh, it could be the death of a person. Uh, but this is going to lead to a new beginning, Scorpio. And so we are at that pivot point where we do need to release anything that has been holding us back for the next part of the ascension journey. And so uh, I do feel this is a conscious release, though. This to me is a conscious release after a lot of juggling and a lot of pushing from the universe. And I think somebody's been watching and spying as somebody has overcome a very difficult decision. We got a Queen of Swords that has healed her heart. So I'd like to dig further into the Queen of Swords and see what she needs to say. I think within the next three days, expect to receive a message. Well, she's she's not only a queen of swords, she's a queen of wands. And she's not looking back at the past anymore. I think she's all done looking back at the past at a missed opportunity. And so we do have somebody here that I think turned a very painful situation into a creative endeavor we've got somebody here that there's nothing that will hold this woman back we've got somebody here that i feel has picked themselves up maybe in the past they used to underestimate their ability to make their dreams come true but she's focused she's fierce and she knows that uh, she can have it all if she balances her career and her home life and so we've got a feminine here that is very powerful i think exposing illusions and I think somebody wants to come back from the past that might have betrayed her. And there is going to be an unexpected change coming in here. So let's see what's going on with this King of Coins. Because we got somebody here that I think chose money over love is what it feels like. And they weren't a good person in the past. Maybe this is somebody that you have kid with, kids with and they weren't a supportive parent. Doesn't have to be. Uh, but we've got somebody here, a masculine energy that only cared about money and security. And they were very selfish. Yeah, they were very selfish and there's been blocked communication. So we do have a masculine here in a state of an emotional storm. They've been in a state of, of denial about a counterpart situation is what it feels like. Maybe in another relationship where there's a lack of intelligence, a lack of respect. I think somebody here received a lot of poor advice, maybe from a group of friends. And uh, there is a relationship here, I think, that is crumbling yeah, because it was, a, it was a poor investment, right? And so there's a lot going on. There's that unexpected communication, the Eight of Wands. And so what was repressed, I think, is coming through with explosion, explosional energy. We get the fireworks energy. And so uh, we got somebody here that is shining bright like a firework, right? Baby, you're a firework. <laughs> I'm hearing that Katy Perry song. And so I do feel in the past there was a missed start or or a missed opportunity, or somebody didn't see the creative potential here in a new beginning, and somebody here has been pretending like, I don't even care that I didn't choose that. I don't care that I didn't invest in that. And they're lying to themselves, and they chose money over love. And now I think uh, money isn't cutting it, right? Money isn't everything, and that did come through in that twin flame reading. And so we've got a masculine here that I think now has a lot of fear surrounding money because money isn't everything. And so when we choose to ignore uh, the signs and the things from the divine, they're going to come in and take away what you what you hold dear in order to shake things up, right? And so I think maybe in the past it felt like poor timing, but it's coming in like a hot, 
like a hot tamale right now is what I want to say. It's coming in hot and heavy. And so I do feel there's a need to recognize uh, what isn't working. So something here is being released. So what is dying away here? What is dying away? Look at and there's a unicorn on that card as well. So there is a need to trust your intuition. Well, we're all done with holding. We're all done hoarding because when we give, that's when we receive. When we are stingy, when we are in this energy of like, no, I got to hoard everything. I got to hoard my emotions. I got to hoard my time. I got to hoard my money because there's not enough for everybody to go around. That's when you create a five of pentacles because you're not giving, you're not receiving. And so I do feel we've got a feminine here that has made a lot of smart business decisions. And I also feel too, she is not just going to give her energy to anybody. So you can come with your apology, I think is what she's saying. You can come with your apology. You can come cry me a river is what I just heard. Cry me a river. What goes around comes around. But there is potential for a new beginning in love here. Somebody here has a lot of regrets. And they're feeling foolish. So I don't really know if there's a reconciliation here. I don't know if this feminine is really going to want to give up her independence. But either way, there's illumination. And so we do have like a divine masculine and a divine feminine situation going on here. The sun represents the divine masculine. The moon represents the divine feminine. And so we could have a twin flame uh, connection here uh, that is in separation and a masculine getting a wake up call. Definitely fear, stress, worries. Um, afraid that everything isn't going to work out. I think uh, a revelation of clarity. I do feel a flame has been ignited. Time's up. Kind of got like the six of wands energy on this sun card. So there's victory here. There's like an Akashic opening of the scrolls. And we get a flame ignited. And then we get the sunflowers. And so there might be an incoming message. I do feel the divine is saying everything is working out according to our plan. So let go of your fears regardless. Nothing ever, uh, nothing, nothing that is meant for you will ever pass you by, right? So I think there's a big decision to make here. Are you really going to want to invest in this? Because I do feel in the past somebody wasn't loyal. They weren't dedicated. All they cared about was themselves. They protected their heart. They were apprehensive about love. And maybe this feminine got deeply hurt and she focused on career and rebuilding her life. And she's not looking back at the missed opportunities. She's faced her inner dragons. She's faced her inner demons. And she's in a time of her life where everything's kind of working out. And so I do feel somebody from the past is coming back around. And I think this might be a very emotional connection after repressing a lot of emotions. Because I think in the past, this person didn't choose devotion. They chose maybe to play the field a little bit. Uh, they chose to be cold and distant and block communication because their heart was blocked. And I do feel they're coming in saying, hey, hi, I've had an awakening and I would like to maybe start over now that I've received all of these spiritual insights. I can see clearly now I was afraid to give up independence and I lost maybe the best thing that ever happened to me. So somebody here is definitely being disillusioned realizing like oh man I messed things up I gotta go back I gotta go back and I gotta fix this because I really hurt somebody and so yeah they're coming back there's a true pair on the board but the feminine's coming in upright the masculine's coming in in reversed and so yeah I think there was a feminine that did bottom out picked herself back up from rock bottom and now somebody wants to come in and seek some type of renewal because it's divinely guided it's a divinely guided change. I think the wheels of fortune are shifting and this is coming in hot and this is coming in heavy. Get ready for unexpected communication. Let's get a closing message. Let's get a closing message. Maybe somebody's going to get the boot. <laughs> no one to walk away. I do feel there's a feminine here that's been a, pil a pillar of strength. Uh, maybe in a lot of people's lives. And I just want to say, uh, if a relationship doesn't last, maybe the universe was telling you, it wasn't supposed to, but then if you're wondering if this is going to happen, the answer is yes. So maybe this is just for closure, but either way, I feel there's a feminine here that is like a teacher when it comes to this situation and the outcome will bring this person happiness. So be aware, this might just be a test. This might be a test before the divine counterpart comes in, but either way, get ready for unexpected communication. And that's what I got for a message for whoever. So I really hope this helped. I hope this resonated. If you would like to book a personal or a soulmate reading with me, check out the description box below. And I do look forward to seeing you all again next time. Thank you.